Hey guys, so it is, what's today's date? It's the 26th, so we're on day 26 of Magical Readathon. Um, I just wanted to do a little update first off. Um, firstly, you would have seen my, well, you might have seen, um, my day one and two, I don't know who would just be up there horn out front of my house. Um, the day one and two reading vlogs for Bout of Books. Um, since then, I did film day three and four, but then I just never got around to um, actually uploading it. And then day five and six, I just didn't read. So I didn't, like I had a little bit of footage, but not enough to actually care about. And then I've had like events and stuff. I've had like stuff going on. So I haven't actually done anything. So I kind of gave up on Batter Books. So I didn't bother like um, editing and uploading those th day three and four vlogs. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just start here, okay? So it's like exactly what I said in, I think I said it in my Bout of Books TBR, when a readathon doesn't have specific challenges that I need to complete, I don't do it. Like, I just get lazy, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't need to read this right now, I can leave it for tomorrow. And shit doesn't get done. So, that came true on this one. This is why I only do reading vlog, uh, read readathons with reading challenges. So yeah. Okay, so moving on from that, first I'll just talk about what I am currently reading, and that is The King of Atolia by Megan Wallen Turner. This one I am using for, let me have a look at what um, challenge I'm actually using this one for. So this one's for the Read a Book with Magic in it, which is the acceptable challenge in Charms. So I only have five books, including this one, to finish, to finish Magical Readathon, so that will be my priority for the next however many days in them in this month like five or something so I need to get this two uh, audiobooks finished start a physical book and then finish two audiobooks while I'm reading that physical book and then finish the physical book hopefully that makes sense so yeah that is what I'm currently doing I'm going to it's not that I'm like DNFing I did start Muse of Nightmares as I didn't post that vlog you wouldn't have seen I did start Muse of Nightmares but I only read one chapter and I just haven't got back to reading because I haven't been physically reading so it's not that I'm like DNFing it it's just I'll leave it until after the magical readathon because once I finish those audiobooks I want to like I want to concentrate on the audiobooks and then I want to concentrate on that one physical book I need to read for a certain challenge so that'll be my priority for the next five days five books in five days let's see if we can do this so yeah that's We'll see what happens, but anyways. So as for what I'm currently doing, I'm currently organizing because I've got to film a video this afternoon um, and I want to make a tag. I don't know if I'm gonna get it done or whether I'll just film something else today, but um, I'm in the midst of planning a Australian themed readathon and I kind of want to do an Australian themed book tag to go along with it. And there is one out there that there is the Aussie book tag, but I wanted to kind of make my own and I want like the readathon and the tag is going to be based on Australian stereotypes. So I think at the moment my idea is I'm going to be calling it the shrimp on the Barbie book tag. So yes, in that video I will be addressing Australian stereotypes as well as like answering questions slightly related to um, Australian stereotypes. Um, so yeah, I'm currently planning that, but it just depends whether I get it all done as it's kind of difficult matching the stereotypes to questions and the questions not all being like basically the same thing. So all the questions will be like, what is your favorite of like a book with this on it or a book including this or a book about this? And then there's like a couple questions that will be like about new releases. So We'll see how it goes, but that is what I'm currently planning. And I've also um, got some possible challenges for the reading challenges as it will be a week long readathon. So I want to do um, at least five reading challenges, I think. And at the moment I do have one, two, three, four, I have six at the moment. So we'll see what happens. I might swap them around, pick and choose, but we'll just see what happens about that one. But that is what I'm currently planning. And while I'm doing that, I am listening to my audiobook. but I do need to film relatively soon so that way I can get it edited and uploaded today and yeah so that's what's currently happening and I'll just update you guys later when I've done something interesting <laughs> okay so I have an update just because I have changed my plan slightly um oh fucking hair out of my yeah um anyways so what I'm gonna do is like I'm still listening to a king of Atolia. I have, according to this, three hours to go, but I'm listening at 1.8. So it'll probably be like 
hour and a half, a bit more than an hour and a half, somewhere around there. So my plans are that I'm actually going to start um, stalking Jack the Ripper. This is a reread for me, but I will be starting it. Um, because I need, well, I don't need to, but I want to read it before Escaping from Houdini comes out. Let's just start the sentence again because I keep fucking up. Okay, so I want to, I've already listened to Stalking Jack the Ripper on audiobook. And then I re-listened to Stalking Jack the Ripper before Hunting Prince Dracula came out. And then I re listened to it on audiobook. But what I want to do is reread Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula by a physical book before Escaping from Houdini comes out. Got it right. Third time's a charm. Okay, so that is my plan. Right now, um, I'm going to very, very quickly go and film a video. Hopefully I'll be able to do it quickly. And then at like quarter past four, it's like half past three now. At like quarter past four, I'll go for my walk as I haven't actually gone for a walk for like a fair few days now because just things kept coming up at around about the time that I usually go for a walk. So I couldn't and then I don't over the weekends. So, well, I don't Friday, Saturday, Sunday I do. I'm gonna quickly, fingers crossed, film a video. If not, I'll just do it when I get home. And then go for my walk, come home, have dinner, and finish that audiobook, edit the video, and then start stalking Jack the Ripper. So that is my plans. We'll just see how it goes, but I just wanted to let you know because I did change what I was going to do. So yeah, Muse, Muse of Nightmares is just gonna have to be put on the back burner right now, as much as I really wanna re read it, but it, it can wait, okay? It doesn't come out till October, so I've got, a, I've got time. But yes, stalking Jack the Ripper. So yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> hey guys, so it's midnight and I've finished the King of Atolia. I forgot which one I'm up to. Um, yeah, I've finished the King, the King of Atolia, so I'm ready to move on to my next book for Magical Readathon. I also started Stalking Jack the Ripper. I am 30 pages in, I think. Yes, 33 pages in. We've got this cool uh, little picture here of the Princess Alice. It looks like a pub or something. But yeah, anyways, so I'm 30 pages in. I've already tabbed it like a fair bit. And even though like this is a reread, so I know what happens, I still can't help loving certain do not knock the camera over. Pause, come over here. Don't meow at me. You're rocking around the tripod now. <laughs> Your head's wet. I'll insert a Snapchat. We. I'll insert a Snapchat of, that I took of her just then when I was filling up her water dish. I'll put it here. Um. Yeah, she's a little insane. She's she's not very cat-like. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Yeah. So her head's wet. No, she's trying to attack me. Anyways. So yeah. Um, even though I know what happens because it's reread, I'm, I can't help but loving certain characters, even though I know how this ends. I don't want to give away spoilers, but yeah, I love, I, I do like this certain character. Like I like their, um, sense of humor and like their sarcasm. It's very on point to my own. So I did tab a couple things. There's like four purple ones, which are funny or humorous or something like or sarcastic and my purple pen is running out and it's sad I'm gonna have to find another one somewhere I'll probably have to buy the whole pack because I'm pretty sure you can't buy them singly unless you order them online and they're like a dollar sixty each rather than like buying a pack for like five bucks so I'll just have to go find a pack somewhere because my purple is running out my pink has already run out and I had to swap to the fluoro pink which isn't horrible but it's harder to see so it's a bit of a pain, but yeah, that's the only problem with fine point, uh, fine tip pens is like they start to wear down. So yeah, but anyway, so yeah, so I'm 33 pages into this one. I finished the King of Atolia. Right now I'm probably going to read another chapter of Stalking Jack the Ripper and then I'm going to start my next audiobook, which is The Queen of Sorrow. Yes. Book two to The Queen of Blood. I don't know what that series is called. The Queens of Renthia. Is that the series name? It's by Sarah Beth Durst, anyway. But yeah, that's the next one I need to read for um, Magical Readathon. And it is for. No, it's The Reluctant Queen. The Queen of Sorrow is the third book. 
Um, yeah, so the, the Reluctant Queen will be for the challenge. Um, a book that ends in an even numbered page. That's right. Because I just went by the page count on Goodreads. Because I didn't actually own that book. Um, but yeah, so that one will be for that. Let me tick off the Queen King of Atolia. So I've got an acceptable and charm so far. So that's good. I'm working on my um, exceeds expectations arithmancy. So yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna read a chapter of Stalking Jack the Ripper, and then I'm going to start listening to that audiobook. Okay. So I'm a little pissed off right now. You guys know how much I love Scribed. I recommend it to fucking everyone. It is a great app and it is cheap as hell. However, they have just started doing something that I am fucking annoyed about. So you're allowed unlimited access. That's fine. So as if you like a new book gets added or something sometimes you have to wait until your next pay period to be able to access that book but that's usually only when it when it's a new book now they are taking books that have been on your saved list for any amount of time and making them not available until a certain date so i have had literally probably over a hundred audiobooks taken off my saved list and put on this waiting list so still going <sighs> okay we're at the bottom so I can now no longer access the reluctant queen which I was about to start reading um, I can no longer access Monday's Not Coming, which was going to be my next audiobook. And what was the other one? Oh, the one about one that's got an ice cream on the cover. I can't think of the name of it. Let's see if it's on here too. Ah, so that one's actually not on there. So there's one audiobook that's on my current um, Magical Readathon TBR that I can actually access. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. A, a snicker of magic. It's the only one I can still access. So now I'm going to have to go and find two books that fit those particular challenges. So, the one that ends on an even number, that should be fairly easy. What was the other one I was using? Um, a snicker of magic. Uh, no, Monday's Not Coming I was using for a book that you think will leave a mark. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like I said, I'm a little pissed off because I've been using this app for over two years now. I was here when you only got a one audible credit, uh, one audiobook credit and three ebook credits a month for your, however much it was at the time. And I was here when they started Unlimited. And I can no longer access half the books that I've had saved since I got the fucking app. So, I'm a little annoyed. I'm very much annoyed. So, yeah. So I'm going to have to go and find a book with an even amount of pages. Um, I have one in mind, but I'm going to see, have to see how much, how many pages it's got. I can't speak right now. Okay, so the paper book, pa paper book, the paperback has um, 322 pages. So it's got an even number, ends in an even number, so I can use it. So next I'll be listening to Waking Gods by Syl Sylvain Nouvelle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I read Sleeping Giants a little while ago. These are ones I have on audio, uh, Audible, not scribed. Um, but yeah, I have listened to Sleeping Giants a while ago. And I really enjoyed it. So I want to continue on to Waking Gods and Only Human. Couldn't remember the name of the third book. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do now. And just sit here hating scribed right now. Hey guys, so don't mind the towel on my head. We just finished bleaching my hair because I'm dying it tomorrow again. So... Just, just ignore this situation. Um, it's five o'clock on the 27th and I got some mail today that I just wanted to share before dad comes home. So I just thought I'd come on now. You can see the orange, uh, the yellow blonde. It doesn't really matter if it's yellow because I'm putting color straight over the top of it. So the first thing I got was I ordered from Berserk, which is where I got my hair dye from. And they have Funko Pops as well. And I saw this one on here, which isn't on pop culture. I don't think I did look, but I couldn't find it. And it is the basilisk funko pop and it is huge it is heavy and i'm keen i like 
This is the first um, big Funko I've got. I'm actually gonna have to cut. Oh, I do have scissors. So I'm actually gonna have to cut this as it's sticky taped closed. Um, but yeah, this is the first big Funko Pop I've got. I do wanna get um, Hagrid and I wanna get the um, Hogwarts Express ones. I would love to get, I did see on Pop Culture, I think it was, you can get Sam with um, Baby from Supernatural. And I don't think you can get Dean with Baby because I'm pretty sure that was an exclusive. So I'd like to get Sam if I can because it didn't say it was exclusive. So that's, that's good. I might be able to get it. So let me just get this big bastard out of here. So we have the Basilisk. It is creepy as fuck. Especially with the... Um, like, Funko Pops don't have, like, pupils. They just have, like, a colour. So that's, like, creepy. I'm just glad it's not, like, all, like, after it was attacked and it's, like, all red and bloody. That that would be a bit weird. But, yeah, it's really detailed. Even, like, the underneath, you can see his scales. I've got, like, a snake on my hand. <laughs> but, yeah, it's really cool. So that's the first thing I got. The second thing was I'm... I pre-ordered um, The Darkest Legacy by Alexandra Bracken and there was a pre-order incentive going that was actually available in Australia as well. So I decided to sign up for it. So I got the stuff for free from Alexandra Bracken or the publishing house. I don't know who sent it. But yeah, so the first thing is this little print and it says the darkest minds tend to hide behind the most unlikely faces and Alexandra Bracken and it's got the Psy symbol in the background. The next thing I got was just a little signed book plate that I could put in one of my books. And lastly is a pin and I'll just take it out of the plastic so you're actually able to see it. So it's just a little Darkest Legacy pin. It looks like the front of the book and it's zoo with a little lightning bolt. So that's really cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it as I don't exactly collect pins. I don't have anything to put them on. I don't wear denim jackets. I don't have, um, actually I don't need to put that back in there. Um, yeah, I don't wear denim jackets and I don't, like I have a backpack but I'm not putting them on there because I wear it every afternoon to go walking and yeah, so it's not just like a backpack that I take out if I need one. I use it every single afternoon, Nelly, and it is damaged, it is covered in dirt, it's just... Yeah, so I'm definitely not putting them on there and getting them wrecked, especially if they're like nice pins like this. So yeah, and it's even got the little signature down the bottom and it says Love Alex. That's really cool. So yeah, I'm really happy with this, and obviously it was free, so you know, getting those freebies, and I love The Darkest Minds. But yeah, and I'm also really happy with this monstrosity. So besides that, I did listen to some more of, um, what is it called? Waking Gods, um, this morning after I woke up before mum came up. So I'm up to, I can actually check how much I'm up to because it's on Audible. So it actually has percentages. So I'm now 31% into Waking Gods. Um, I haven't read any more of Stalking Jack the Ripper, but I might do that this afternoon. I don't 100% know. Um, I'm gonna have to check how many books I've got left and how many days I've got left so that way I can have some type of idea of how quickly I need to get these audiobooks read. Because um, once I finish this one, I think I can start my physical book and as long as like I can finish it whenever, it doesn't matter because I've already finished the challenge in front of it after I finish The Waking Gods. So that'll be fine. And Stalking Jack the Ripper is, like, isn't like necessary right this second. So once I've finished this audiobook and finish Queen of Fenber and then I can concentrate more on Stalking Jack the Ripper and then just the audiobooks. So yeah. But yeah, right now I'm just going to go give this play a little guy a home. A little guy. He, yeah. I can't say he's cute. He's not cute, but he's cool. So yeah, anyways. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Go get my laptop, put my headphones in, listen to my audiobook. It's too late to go walking as it's already like five past five because we only just finished wash doing my hair. See, look at that, look at that orange. Well, yellow, it's technically it's yellow. Hey guys, so you might notice something different. Um, so today I spent most of the day doing my hair in these ridiculously bright green, teal, turquoise situation. <laughs> um, I love it, it's great. I still got to test if um, one of the other colors in here glow under UV light. Um, if you didn't see one of my other vlogs, this very neon, green, this green in here, it actually glows under UV light and I have um, another colour in my hair right now that is the same brand and I'm still yet to test if it glows in UV light because there's actually nowhere on the packaging that says this one glows under UV light but it does so I have no way of knowing if this other one does as well. So 
I'll have to see if it does at some point. I've got to do my nails tomorrow, so I'll figure it out then. Now, as for reading, um, I've just finished the um, what, Waking Gods by Sylvain Nouvelle, and oh my god, like, I love these books so much. Like, just completely. They're amazing. The characters are amazing. You can't help feeling for the characters. And then when someone dies or something really bad happens, I'm like sitting there in complete shock because like everything about this book or these books, like you do not expect at all. And also this one ended on like a complete cliffhanger, like completely like the last sentence. And I was like, I can't wait to read the next one. <laughs> I really can't. Um, but unfortunately, I can't read it right now because I need to read. Um, hold on, let me get my list out of what I need to read. Um, the next one I have, right, I tried, had to change these around. A Snicker of Magic I was meant to be reading, but I don't think I have that one. Wait, no, that is the one I do have. So yes, next I'll be reading A Snicker of Magic by Natalie Lloyd, which I think this one is a middle grade. Um, it's on Scribd. Let me double check to make sure it's actually still on Scribd, shall we? Yes, it is. So it's eight hours, pretty sure it's a middle grade. I'm hopefully hoping it's not too childish because I have like a love-hate relationship with middle grades. Some of them are like great and fun. <laughs> Shut up, is that country music? A little bit. Um, anyways, so yeah, some uh, middle grade books I like love, they're action packed, they're fun, and then others I'm like, <sighs> grow up a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll just have to see. Hopefully, this one's not too childish, but. And also, another thing is I have to read um, Scythe. I have to finish Scythe before Thursday. It is currently. Tuesday night um, so yeah I have to finish Scythe because the YA book nerds um, book like discussion uh, book of the month discussion that's the word I'm looking for uh, book of the month discussion is on Thursday night so I need to finish it by then and then our buddy read discussion for the whole book will be probably on Friday because it can't be Saturday morning as I am leaving pretty early to go to another car show and I'll be leaving earlier than I did last week. Let me think, what time do I have to leave? I have to leave here by like quarter past seven. So we usually just start our discussions at seven and I don't want to get up like at six just to discuss. So we might do it Friday night. I'll talk to the group. But yeah, so right now I'm just gonna go start that audiobook. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I might do some reading of Scythe tonight. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I don't think I've got anything to do like on my laptop, so I might just read some of Scythe and then lay down and listen to that audiobook. But yeah, I'll update you guys a little bit later and I might close off this reading vlog tonight. I don't know, I'll have to check how much footage I've got because I don't remember what day I started this one in particular. So I'll have to see how much footage I got. But yeah, maybe I'll show it up tonight. Maybe tomorrow, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, so it's nearly midnight and I think I'm gonna close out this reading vlog here and I'll start another one tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'll edit this reading vlog now. I have listened to seven chapters of A Snicker of Magic, so we're getting there. Um, it's not bad, it's quite interesting so far. Um, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes with that one. I'm gonna put my headphones in and edit because my neighbors currently have um, their dog's sister visiting who like belongs to one of their family members and it is sitting at the back door whining <laughs> and it's driving me insane so yeah i'm gonna do that and i'll close up this video vlog and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side